Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's Steve at Muse Themes. Now that we've successfully purchased our hosting account and linked up our domain name, let's just jump on the web and make sure everything is working properly. We set up the website museexperts.com and if we open a new tab and just put in museexperts.com in the URL bar here, you can see that the site does load properly. So we have clearly have everything linked together and this is good to go. So even though our site is already uploaded to the server, we'll probably need to make changes to it down the road. As clients have changes or you want to make updates, we need to be able to upload new files to this. There's a couple ways you can do this within Muse. Because we've hosted this on Business Catalyst, as I set up in an early video, the easiest way is just to hit the publish button. And you can see now if we hit publish, in Muse that it says site name, Muse Experts, and it actually shows the new domain that we've associated with it. So because you're hosting on BC and we're working with an Adobe product, you can just make changes, hit publish and hit okay, and it's going to push everything out to that hosting server. You also have some options in here if you want to publish it, say, to a new link. Say, for example, you want to make an alternate version of the site and play around with testing some things on it, you can publish it to another temporary Business Catalyst site. Or you could change something, or you could change the ability to upload all of your files versus only the modified files. So for now, let's cancel this. And that's why I recommend using those free hosting accounts because publishing up to BC from Muse is just so easy. But let's say, for example, we wanted to publish up to a hosting provider that was not on Business Catalyst. This is really common. A client will provide you with what they call FTP login details and this is for you to upload files to their site. So if this is the case, you can actually still publish direct from Muse by clicking this arrow up by the publish button and clicking FTP host. So if we change that, it says connect to FTP server. This is where you're going to enter in the information that your client gave you. So I have an FTP server set up for our Visual Arms Creative Corp e or website. So in order to enter that info in, it usually looks like this. In our case, it's ftp.visualarms.ca. This can vary slightly depending on your domain or hosting provider that you've used. However, typically it's just FTP in front of the domain. The next thing we just need to do is enter our username, which your client should provide you, and our password. So once you've done that, you have the ability to just store the credentials, which means you're not entering them every time you open Muse or you publish up in Muse. And again, we have some other options. So we have the ability to publish up using secure FTP. These are just other security protocols in FTP. Okay, so we won't bother changing in anything in there for now, but let's just click next. And what it's going to do is it's going to connect to the FTP server and it shows this message saying we've opted not to store credentials. That's fine. And now it comes up with another box asking us what our site URL is or the domain of our site. So in this case, it would be museexperts.com. And then it asks for a folder on the server. This is a really important one to note because you can upload a site to various subfolders and you can kind of control how the URL looks in the address bar. I'm going to do a video later on on uploading using third party software such as FileZilla and I'll explain a little bit more about how folder structures work on FTPs. Most of the time for basic client sites, if they just have one hosting account and one website on it, then there's actually no folder in there. You can just leave it completely blank. This did actually pre-populate with something that said public underscore HTML, and that's actually the folder on my FTP where the website lives. So Muse is smart enough to check that FTP and see where to put the files. And again, we can also upload only the modified files or all of the files. So again, this is just a way for you to upload directly from Muse if your client is not using Business Catalyst. If they are using Business Catalyst, as I set up earlier in this video series, then you can just hit publish, hit OK, and it's going to publish right up to it. In the next video, let's take a look at publishing using third-party FTP software.